format camera RB67 it's quite big and it's quite uh, heavy but well who cares this one is very uh, iconic and of course this takes uh, quality pictures compared to a 35 millimeter camera which is an SLR or range finder but one thing good about this one is that uh, this one can accommodate uh, sorry 6x7 6x6 and 6x45 now, um, when you're using 6x45, you can take 15 shots when you expose the 120 uh, film. If you'll be using uh, the 6x7, that's only about roughly 10 exposures. So, this one is big as you can see. So, if you're taking this outside for a street photography, it, it's quite cumbersome and so heavy. So, you can probably use this for a couple of minutes, hours, and then you have to take a rest because it's quite heavy. I don't think if you can walk the whole day carrying this on your shoulder, it will, it will be uh, difficult and your, your shoulder might uh, be hurt in the process. Uh, the quality of the pictures that you can, this one can give is outstanding and it's pretty amazing because of the um, size compared to a 35mm camera. But it's not just your typical everyday uh, camera whereby you can take it uh, anywhere you go. I have another uh, lens for this one and I have another film back and I have the um, uh, waist viewfinder. This one is the uh, eye level finder. It's quite um, convenient for me compared to the um, waist level finder. Whenever you move the camera on the left, the image that you are looking down there will go on the other side. It will uh, move the lens upward and then the image will go down. It's quite a different thing for you to, to do altogether. But this one is quite unique because uh, if you want to use this uh, on a uh, landscape uh, orientation, this is the uh, position of the film back. Now, if you want to use this on a portrait um, orientation, all you have to do is to turn this uh, film back and then that can now accommodate your uh, portrait uh, orientation. It is, it's very convenient. Although you have another one, is the Mamiya 645, which is a bit smaller than this one, that's also shorter yet. And your limitation only is that uh, the available uh, film back is for 6x45. And like this one, I can, can use uh, the 6x7 uh, film back. Uh, this is more versatile compared to the Mamiya. 645. Although the, the weight, the size, uh, the way you carry it, basically the whole day it's different experience because this one is quite heavy. Okay, this is your um, Mamiya V67 Professional ST. Okay, so we have here a um, um, 127mm uh, f3.8 lens. This one is equivalent to about 90 or uh, 80 millimeter for uh, 35 millimeter uh, SLR cameras. Okay. This is the uh, lens hood so this can be screwed right in front like that so you can retract the rubber for you to get rid of those unnecessary uh, glare from the sun. Um, you can remove the lens of course I have here another one this is the uh, 180 millimeter f4.5 is equivalent to um, 105 millimeter as far as the um, SLR 35 millimeter cameras are concerned. Okay, now the speed selector is located here in the uh, lens, so this is basically a uh, lip shutter that you can see it's right there in, in the uh, middle of the lens. So this is 
time up to one second to one four hundred second okay that's your speed so this is your aperture so your aperture the maximum opening is 3.8 and the minimum is uh, f32 okay so this is your uh, for your plus sync and this is for your mirror lock up although you can use a uh, cable for you to um, conveniently use your mirror lock up so for you to focus this camera is not through the lens actually this one is only for your reminder purposes but the way to focus this uh, lens is through the body because there's a bell right there in the middle that this will move forward or move backward so this is the lock for just uh, push this back okay like that and then this now you can focus now to just turning this wheel okay like that okay there's a bell for you to uh, watch your equipment detected from the NSRI line not coming from Murphy. So there is this um, chart for you to consider whenever you're focusing your uh, NIA RB67 because whenever you are uh, focusing closer to the subject, the amount of uh, light that will be coming in will have to be uh, reduced due to the length of the uh, bellow. Uh, just this chart is basically a thing for you to understand. It's either add one stop, half stop, or uh, decrease the half stop, one stop. So we will do another uh, video uh, for the uh, instruction of this uh, chart. You have to remember that you cannot just remove the lens without ever uh, cocking the um, shutter right here, okay? And then uh, you can uh, Really remove this thing. Just simply turning the collar, outer collar right here, uh, counterclockwise, like so. And then the dot right there should be aligned to the dot in the body, and of course the arrow in the uh, body of the lens, so that cannot be removed. The speed is engaged, so if you will leave it like that, whenever you like to change the lens and then you keep it in your storage, chances are the spring for the um, shutter is quite tense so therefore you have to uh, disengage it so you just push this one okay and then you push this uh, pin right here upward there you go so the shutter now is released and therefore the spring now is relaxed there's no tension if you want to return the uh, lens don't forget to cut the uh, shutter Okay, so for you to return it, so remember to align the dot right there in the outer collar and of course that uh, arrow, so place in the body, okay, like so and then turn it, okay, it's now in place. So this is the shutter release uh, button, but you cannot just release that because the dash dark slide is still engaged, so you have to remove the dark slide for you to release the uh, shutter, okay. There you go. And this is the prism finder, it's, but it's more of a eye level finder. So, but this can be replaced by simply putting this uh, notch right here and then pushing again this uh, badge and lift now the, the uh, entire uh, prism finder. So, this is your waist level finder. Okay, simply. this has to be engaged right here first. Place it right there. Okay, and then push this to the left. And there you go. Just simply lift this up. You cannot just see the image right there because the um, mirror is still up. So you have to cut the um, shutter for you to see the uh, image. You're focusing. Okay. So if you don't want to use your um, waist level finder, just simply uh, push this one right here. And then it will go down automatically simply pushing the body okay and there is a magnifying lens right there so just simply push this latch to the left and then the magnifying lens will uh, go out for you to, to have a better focusing this is the uh, film back for the uh, 645 and i have here another film back for the uh, 6x7 it's one thing that is uh, good about this uh Mia. RB67 is that you can use two, two or more film backs for you to replace 
while taking pictures you're going to use your black and white fill right here and the colors right here so if you want to take pictures using the um, black and white negative so just simply remove this thing and then replace it with this uh, film back but you cannot remove the film back if the dark slide is not uh, placed no? just simply place back the dark slide and now you can now push the slots to the left and also this other one on the bottom so push that one and this one and then your film back now will uh, be removed and can be replaced with another film back okay, right here like so like that and there's another one once the film back is not attached to the body you cannot remove the dark slide because if you will remove this and there is a film uh, placed right there then chances are the film will be exposed and then your film will be ruined so for you to um, remove this thing is for you to pull these two latches on the bottom and then the top and then now you can open the film back once the film back is there you can now remove your dark slide for you to expose the film okay okay so this one is for the multi-exposure so try to imagine if you want to expose the film several times one or twice or three times you can just simply cut the uh, shutter uh, lever and then take picture and then you can expose the same frame uh, with another shot for you to have this double exposure by simply again cutting the uh, advanced lever and then taking the picture so if you want to go to the uh, basic typical uh, single shot so just simply pull this tab right there so that the red dot will, will be covered by this tab and then that is now your uh, regular uh, one shot per frame at a time but again you cannot just simply uh, release the uh, shutter if there is no film uh, installed right here this Mamiya RB67 Pro SD is one of those iconic cameras which was released during the 70s and became so famous during those times this medium format camera may be a better choice to a, an SLR camera but then again, it depends on the uh, user and the preference. Some people might uh, prefer the SLR because of its uh, compact uh, size and uh, it's a bit easier to use compared to this one. This is quite uh, slower to use uh, compared to a, an SLR camera. And whenever I use this uh, medium format camera, it's not basically ergonomic because uh, the um, switches and everything are scattered all over the place however you don't mind those complexities there well this one is uh, the best camera for you thank you very much for watching this video and please like this video and subscribe to this uh, channel if you have some questions please feel free to comment below so i can answer it of course within my knowledge and thank you very much for watching and listening and of course stay safe and have a great day everyone god bless